Joined by Jack Nicholas, the six time Masters champion. And Jack, I think a lot of us were so thrilled on a, on a Monday where we were sad not to be at Augusta that we actually got some good news that, that a, the event that we thought might not be played at all is at least on the calendar now for November. I just am curious, first of all, your reaction to the fact that it's on the schedule for now and, and hopefully we'll be there in November. What'd you think? Well, I didn't think it would happen. I just didn't think that, uh, first of all, that uh, uh, Augusta would play in November. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, uh, the golf course is going to be overseeded. Uh, and usually in the fall, the overseed is very long and it, it's hard to get a good crisp lie. I think they could probably handle that part. They could probably overseed a little bit earlier and get it crisp. But, you know, that overseed is what's going to carry them through uh, to the to the Masters the next April. And I don't think they'll have much problem with the greens in November. I think the greens will be fine. And I'm delighted. When I talked to uh, Fred Ridley, and Fred called me about it, and he, he said, I don't – I don't know whether we're ever going to be able to get it done or not. And I said, well, Fred, I think it's going to be very difficult. Plus the fact you have quite a few other tournaments that are going to just have to sort of slip aside uh, that would have been playing that week. Now, uh, as the way the schedule sort of worked out uh, with the British canceling and uh, uh, the U.S. Open moving back and PGA moving back, uh, you know, and to get the Masters in and get all four – well, you won't get the British in because they've canceled. Right. But you'll get all the other majors in. And uh, you may have a pretty darn good year of golf. I know you're going to have to fight a little bit of football. But, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of fans that will want to come to Augusta, even in November. It's a pretty time of year. They won't have the flowers. But they've got a, the golf course. Uh, uh, if they get the ryegrass in shape, will be will be good. And it'll be a good test of golf. So uh, I'm delighted to see uh, – I guess to do that, uh, and I think it's uh, I think it's great for the game of golf, and uh, uh, I wish uh, uh, I just hope that uh, we're going to be able to play golf this year. I hope we get this pandemic over, and i you know I think that uh, hopefully we're starting on the right side of the curve, and uh, it's uh, it's been it's been horrible. Uh, I know Barb and I we haven't left this house for three weeks, and so. Uh, we, uh, we we just sort of hold up here, and uh, uh, we haven't seen our kids. We haven't seen anybody. And I'm sure there's many, many, many more people who have seen exactly the same thing and have been in the same situation. But it's important, and it's really, really needs to be. Uh, we need to be. We need to be smart about what we're doing right now, and uh, make sure that uh, uh, we come out of this as healthy as we can possibly be. Couldn't agree more. And, you know, you, you and Barb hunker down until the, the coast is clear. And I imagine come November, you got a sweater that'll, that'll work for that first tee shot if, the, if there's a, a little chill in the air, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we can find one, Scott. I have a feeling you... Not a you, problem. I, I'm certain that uh, you'll find the perfect shade, Jack. Stay well until then. Thanks so much for taking the time. We look forward to seeing you in November in Augusta, okay? Okay, my friend. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.